Well, Toronto is grappling with a sharp rise in auto thefts. Last year, more than 12,000 vehicles were stolen across the city at a value of almost $800 million. That's 34 incidents per day, or about one every 40 minutes. The police chief says officers are working with the province to mount a response. We are collating the Provincial Carjacking Task Force with the Ontario Provincial Police. They are doing exceptional work. As of yesterday, the task force has arrested 121 suspects, laid 730 charges, and recovered 157 stolen vehicles. Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow joins me now in studio. Mayor, thanks for coming in. Hello. So there was a New York Times article, uh, and this was the headline recently, for car thieves, Toronto is a candy store. What do you make of the fact that Toronto has this reputation? I guess we have a lot of candies. We have a lot of good cars here in Toronto. Um, yes, I do know that last year was like 12,200 cars were stolen. And this year alone, the number have doubled uh, between January to now, uh, comparing to last year to, to now. Uh -huh. So the numbers have dramatically increased. And it's uh, a bit violent, some of them. Um, some will just bash through the door and run in. Uh, mm. Others are uh, bump you at the back uh, and uh, come in and try to pull you out and get your keys and drive off, that kind of thing. So uh, whether it's home invasions and, and there are many different style where people get this car stolen. So what do you want to see police do about this? Because you're right, there were 68 carjackings this year so far. Uh, you, you mentioned the, the 12,000 number, which is just over 12,000. Those are pretty shocking statistics. Do you think that police are doing enough to stop this? And also, what would you like to see the federal government do? The police are doing as much as they can. Perhaps they can always do more. Uh, they respond, they show up, they track the cars, if the car have the tractors in it. And uh, as you know, policing is 100% funded by the City of Toronto. Uh, we're hoping that we get a bit more financial support provincially and from the federal government. Mm -hmm. What sometimes happens is that when the cars get driven off to, say, a Montreal port, is the Canada uh, CBSA, mm -hmm. Canada Border Service Agency, that check these containers. And these containers sometimes have cars in them. Now, the police, whether it's Montreal or Toronto, police have no jurisdiction. CBSA need to uh, check. Right now, they do check if it is a complaint. Mm -hmm. But if the Toronto police don't know where the car have gone to, it's hard to complain. So what would be really helpful is the CBSA, which is uh, federal, yeah. would randomly check all these containers. So as they are going out to other countries or leaving Montreal, for example, that they get randomly checked, checked often, you just scan it, right? And then uh, we would be able to recover a lot more cars. Do, do you think that the Toronto Police are doing a good job when it comes to communication and, and, and telling people what they need to do? Because there was, you know, last week, that, that story that has gone viral about one police officer saying, you know, put your fobs close to the door. Uh, you well, know, they, hide they, it, don't, uh, don't show it. They, they, yeah. they backtracked on that. You know, the premier said, OK, you might as well leave milk, milk and cookies. So do, do, do you think that, uh, you know, Toronto police are doing an effective job when it comes to informing the public about what they should be doing? Well, the, the public knows uh, it's not something that uh, if someone bash your door down, it's not much you can do, right? Yeah. Uh, or if someone bump you at the back and try to drag you out and all that kind of, um, uh, it's not what people can do yeah. is not I don't think the onus is on the car owners it's really on catching these criminals uh, as quickly as possible or making sure that they can't sell it overseas right which is where the federal government comes in there are, there are task force now that would Mm -hmm. So the police, not just Toronto, all working together through the GTA and through uh, Montreal, because this is uh, mostly Montreal and Toronto. It's a big city problem, right? Mm -hmm. Vancouver. But they have to have a way to ship those cars out of the country or mm -hmm. else they're not making the money. And if you can kill off that source of them getting the money, which is stopping the containers from 
leaving the country, that would be effective. Okay, Mayor Chow. Now, yeah. the public safety minister said they have just given um, CBSA $23 million. Hopefully, that, that money can be well spent and go and check the container so no cars can leave this, uh, Canada. We will see because, uh, you know, a car stolen every 40 minutes, uh, that is not a good statistic. Mayor Chow, we've got to leave it there uh, for tonight, but appreciate you coming in. That is Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow.